for testicular cancer, we are talking about an age group between 15 to 35. So those are young patients uh, that might be exposed to an orchidectomy, so a removal of one of the testicles, plus or minus radiation or chemotherapy. So, uh, and nowadays we know that um, survivorship is quite high and we want our patients to be back to a normal life after cancer. So what is really important to, uh, to be aware of is that uh, the treatment can compromise the patient's fertility and to prevent it and to allow our patients to have a normal life after cancer, we do offer them uh, fertility preservation or cryopreservation of the sperm. Also, the chemotherapy might have some uh, side effect in the future and that's why we really encourage our patients to have a very healthy lifestyle, stop uh, tobacco, stop alcohol during and after the treatment. Testicular cancer is amongst the most curable cancers. We are talking about an overall survival rate of more than 95% in the next five years. Uh, all the modalities are available and the earlier the cancer is detected, the less heavy the treatment would be. So for example, if someone comes at an early stage, the treatment will only be surgery, where we do an inguinal orchidectomy and then we remove the tumor with wide margins and the patient will be just on observation. While if the disease is a bit more advanced, patient might require from one to uh, up to three or four cycles of chemotherapy, but still the overall survival rate remains high. But of course, early detection means uh, higher chances of survival.